so again, sorry, we're in this situation. I, I asked the First Minister a very direct question uh, and I don't get an answer. The Cabinet Secretary for Justice had this report yesterday. The First Minister spoke about uh, further discussions with the Justice Committee but failed to commit to publishing the report in full. Will she now do that? Will the First Minister confirm that her government will publish the report in full? It's on the Justice Secretary's desk. I assume she has seen it. The public deserve to see it. Because there are still so many unanswered questions. At the last count, the First Minister had refused 12 times to say if Isla Bryson is a man or a woman. And it's important because that affects how public bodies treat these criminals when they are released from jail. The First Minister says she doesn't have enough information to decide if this double rapist is a man. He's a rapist. He has a penis. What further information can the First Minister possibly need? So can I ask her, when this monster comes out of jail, Will Nicola Sturgeon, I'm sorry, if SNP members are grumbling at me calling a double rapist a monster, you should look at yourselves. Because I'm asking, when he comes out of jail, will Nicola Sturgeon and her government consider him a man or a woman? First Minister. Uh, firstly, on the uh, report, Presiding Officer, I, I really do think Douglas Ross is clutching at straws in his follow-up uh, question. I, I made very clear the findings, the findings of the report will be published. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary uh, confirmed, I believe he confirmed in this chamber, that he will update the Criminal Justice Committee this week. Uh, Parliament rises today, uh, of course, for uh, this week, and both the Cabinet Secretary and the Chief Executive of the Scottish Prison Service, Theresa Medhurst, uh, will actually attend the Justice Committee on the 22nd of February, following uh, the week's uh, recess of Parliament, and members of that committee uh, will be able to ask questions about that review. So I'm not sure how anybody can suggest that there is not going to be full transparency around that review, but uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to set that out again uh, for Mr Ross. Um, on the uh, subsequent part of his question, uh, the individual we're talking about here uh, identifies uh, as a woman. Uh, however, it is really important, I think, to very calmly uh, set out that any rights associated uh, with that uh, are not a result of any legislation passed by this Parliament uh, and indeed wouldn't uh, be the result of that legislation even if it were in force. It's a result of the Equality Act passed uh, by the UK Parliament, reserved to the UK Parliament in 2004, uh, which is effectively and always has effectively been based on self-identification. Uh, however, uh, what it doesn't do is give any individual an automatic right uh, to be treated in a certain way in the prison estate. And actually, this case demonstrates uh, that because the individual is in a male yeah. prison. What is relevant here and why I have focused on this is the crime and the nature of the risk posed. In this case, the individual is a double rapist, and in terms of decisions about how they are dealt with in the prison estate, that is the relevant factor. Uh, and finally, presiding officer, in any group, uh, individuals, small minority of individuals, uh, will commit crimes. In no other circumstances do we accept the stigmatisation and the denial of rights to the whole group, and we shouldn't do that here either. First, so to go back to the first point about this report, the First Minister claims I'm clutching at straws on this. It seems that she's clutching on to this report because she's not willing to issue it in full today. The report findings, we are told, will be published at some point. Why not today? Why not publish the findings and the full report that your Justice Secretary has had for over 24 hours?